Python, C, C Sharp, C++, JavaScript. These are just a few languages developers use to create games. Do you use any of those? I'm sure you do, otherwise why else would you even be here? Game development is a hobby millions of people want to get into, but there are huge obstacles blocking their way. Or at least they think it's blocking their way. In reality, these obstacles can be overcome with ease. The biggest blockers people find is creating assets like models as well as programming. And in this video we're going to talk about why programming seems so difficult, but in reality it's very straightforward. So you want to build a game and you don't know the first thing about coding. Well as luck would have it, there are many YouTubers out there who teach you the wonders of coding like myself, Brackies and Penny at Holistic3D. We have been programming for many years, in fact I myself have been programming since the age of about 8 when I learned basic on my dad's Spectrum ZX Plus 2. For me, it's something I've built up over the years and I'm still learning new things even now. To some people, picking up coding is simple, but to others it's really difficult and it comes down to how your mind actually works. I am a very logical and numerically minded person and I'm always thinking about how numbers fit together and thinking things like what if I do this? And I'm pretty sure that type of thinking is what has helped me on my journey immensely. The general idea of coding is to think of what you need doing and approaching it one step at a time. But if you can't break down that process, that's where you'll find coding to be very difficult. Let's use a quick example. Let's say in your game you want to walk past an NPC and have them shout something at you, wave their arms around and have subtitles on screen. For experienced programmers, that's easy and it can be thrown together in less than a minute, but to people who are not logical and numerically minded, that's a challenge and it's hard, but here's what you'd do. Firstly, we mentioned that we want to walk past an NPC and have them shout, so set up a trigger next to your NPC with a script attached and start that script by thinking of what should go in there. We'll need an audio file, an animation and access to a text UI element so we declare those as variables. Next we need to use those variables, so let's create a method which plays the audio file with the NPC shouting. Next you would have the line of code that plays the animation of the NPC waving their arms. And finally the last bit would be of the code that displays the text on screen. The key to programming is to break it down into as small as piece as possible and build it up piece by piece from there. And if you're not logically minded, that's okay, just keep remembering to build a script slowly and methodically. You don't need to try and do it all at once, even just one line at a time will help you, but do it at your own pace, don't try and keep up with the professionals. The next part of coding which people find difficult is what to actually put. Well luckily these days Visual Studio is a bit smarter than it used to be and it can help you out when you're in a bit of a pinch or if you're struggling to find the right syntax, or you don't know the difference between a game object with a capital G and a lowercase g, there are plenty of resources to help you on websites or here on YouTube. Something that a lot of people don't quite realise is when it comes to coding, almost all languages function relatively similar, i.e. having an if statement will function the same in any programming language, if, something, then, do something else, something else. So by that logic, if you know one programming language, you should find it fairly easy to pick up another language. So just remember, the next time you're struggling to code anything, take it slow. Think what needs to go in there, don't be afraid to look at resources on the internet. Think logically and you won't find it anywhere near as difficult as you once did.